Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the comment video. We're going to be discussing the R9 390X since it's the subject that all the cool kids want to discuss. Well, at least we have some rumors and supposed price points for the GPU, um, as well as some specs as well. How accurate this stuff is, obviously, who knows, but we'll discuss it anyway because it's quite interesting as particularly if it does turn out to be true i have a bit of a cold at the moment if you're wondering why i've got another cold well you could bl basically blame london commuting because so many people are sick on the bloody trains and undergrounds it's ridiculous uh and you you literally cannot escape to be honest i'm pretty impressed i haven't gotten sick sooner with how many people have been um basically coughing in my face on the bloody undergrounds but anyway so, it's using the GCN 1.3 architecture, okay, as standard, Fiji XT, okay, rumours are as follows, uh, process 28NM, nothing um, amazing there, 4096 cores, okay, so that's pretty much within the, the, the specs that we've known, but it's got 256 texture units and 128 ROPs, which given what we know about the GCN architecture is definitely within that ballpark, and the core clock is supposedly 1050 megahertz. Now, this means that the GPU with the FP32 uh, performance anyway is going to be putting out 8.6 teflops of performance, which is absolutely just bonkers, it's just crazy. Now, supposedly, um, the rumours of 4 and an 8 gigabyte model of this GPU continue. Um, if that's true, uh, it's obviously going to be using HBM high bandwidth memory, which is going to be utilising a 4096-bit bus. And that's because, of course, 1024 bits per stack, which is actually running at 1250 MHz. Now, supposedly... This is going to give you 640 gigabytes per second, but up to one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. That's a lot of memory bandwidth, and well, should pretty much do you for 4K or virtual reality or pretty much anything else under the sun. Now, if rumors are accurate, AMD are touting, at least with leaked slides, and if these slides are legit, shrug my shoulders they look like official amd slides but it doesn't really take much to mock these up let's just be honest but effectively what they've done is they've taken the 290x and then they've just compared it versus the 390x and if the rumors are accurate we're looking at a 60 percent boost over the 290x i just want to put this into perspective this is at 4k that is insane. I own an R9 290X. I was given one for review. I also own other GPUs. And let me tell you, you could play 4K on R9 290X. It's not perfect. You're not going to be able to play Crisis 3 on it at, you know, uh, 4K with all the details at max. But you can, you know, you can play a lot of games on it, like Alien Isolation and Tomb Raider. But bloody hell, I mean, 60% extra. If you can afford these things in, SL, in uh, Crossfire, I'm sorry, you're going to be getting insane frame rates, but that brings us to the price now, doesn't it? How much is it going to cost you? What's the pain to your wallet? What, 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 what level of rapage are you going to be receiving? Well, the Titan, as I'm sure you'll know, the Titan X is $1,000. Now, the 290X, which was, of course, the previous flagship, single-card flagship, launched at 549 It was pretty obvious to anyone and their mother that the price of the 390X was probably going to be higher because of the new technologies involved. Supposedly, it's going to have a price tag over $700, US, whereas the 390, not the 390X, but the 390 is going to be sub $700. So, one can argue, what the heck does that mean? Well, we could look at it like the 390X could possibly be the 8 gigabyte model, and then the 390 could be the 4 gig model, but none of this is confirmed, of course. And then you've got the 380X. Now, the 380X is only $400 only, but, you know, it's still pretty good 
Now, in terms of the performance, it's a bit weird because from what we're at, what we're hearing, the 380 is going to be about about what the previous generation was, maybe slightly faster. So the 380 and the 380X, they're probably going to be slightly faster than the 290 slash 290X. They're going to be, you know, more efficient and they're going to be faster. Um, when the 390X, if we look at that, it features an 8 and a 6 pin. So it's also possible it could also feature an 8 and an 8 uh, with up to 300 watts of power usage, depending on whether it's the 390 or the 390X, because obviously there is some differences here. All the specs I read out previously, they are for the 390X. So supposedly the 390 is slightly lower for example you might have in the case of uh, the ROPS it might be slightly lower or what have you but obviously none of this stuff is confirmed anyway so it could be inaccurate or it could be 100% bang on it's a bit curious because Let's say the 360X, which is going to be retailing at about $150. Supposedly, that's going to have the performance of an R7265. Hmm. I would like to have seen a little bit more performance on the lower end, if I'm totally honest. But I guess we're just going to have to see. Because it could be some rebranding going on there. It could be... A lot of these cards are rebranded, but obviously because we don't know official confirmation yet, it's a lot of it is just conjecture, speculation, and rumors. So here's the deal. Here's what I would suggest. If you are thinking of buying the Titan X, don't. Because these cards are pretty close. Uh, when these slides start leaking out, and we've had so many rumours, This card, these cards are probably pretty damn close at this point. And it looks like the 390 or the 390X is going to be a good 20-30% to 30 cheaper. And it's going to spank the Titan X, most likely, from what we're hearing. It doesn't necessarily mean it will, but from what we're hearing, it looks like it's going to be considerably faster than the Titan X. Which, hopefully, is true, since it's a newer architecture. There are some rumours as well regarding the next generation cards uh, so that would be the 400 series supposedly they're going to be obviously just massively faster and we've discussed Pascal and so on as well but most of that is really just pure speculation so it's to the point where it's probably not worth uh, really bundling into this video and we've discussed it a little bit previously anyway so you can go ahead and watch that if necessary so today was actually supposedly, or supposed to be rather, uh, Final Fantasy Battlefield Hardline, but we've had some uh, interesting problems with that today. I won't go into all of it, but yeah, it should be up tomorrow, Final Fantasy, the frame rate. I've already written out all of the article. It was just a few editing uh, problems with the composition, which doesn't actually affect our, uh, affect our results, but it was just a bit of a screw up. So, yeah, pretty much just letting you know what's happened. Uh, I'm going to give you an early indication of what it's like. Basically, the PS4 version has a frame rate that's mid-20s, and the Xbox One version is actually significantly worse, and both have torn frames, but you can check those out tomorrow. As for Battlefield Hardline, I was going to be doing a kind of a first impressions -y thing with that, and then get into the graphics analysis. But to be honest with you, I'm not really enjoying the game that much, so I'm probably just going to skip the first impressions and I'll just play it just for the sake of the graphics analysis between the Xbox One, the PS4, PC, and then I'll probably just get rid of the games because I'm not really enjoying Battlefield Hardline that much. Maybe I'll feel a bit different when it, differently, I'm sorry, when you've got a cold it's a bit difficult to speak. Uh, but maybe I'll feel a bit differently when I'm playing the multiplayer, but at the moment, not really enjoying the game too much. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Apologies for once again getting sick, but you're going to blame the bloody Londoners and the underground. That's what I say. Anyway, see you soon. Take care and uh, have a good day, evening, morning, what have you. Bye.